How's it going everyone? This is Ash and this is Sea of Stars. I've been trying to play this game forever and finally got my hands on it. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select one who will lead the party. I am going to go with what well, we got this character here, Zell, a blade dancer born out of the summer sol solstice. Walks the path of the guardian god Solon. Then we have Valerie, a monk born of the winter solstice. Walks the path of the guardian goddess Luna. Luan, Luna? I'm going to go with Valerie. I did it before when I played the demo. I also went with Valerie. So, yeah. Stick with some tradition here. Oh, I'm going to get my cursor off of there. There we go. Welcome to the Great Archives, adventurer. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait, to be sure. I am the archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of the alchemy. But perhaps you already knew that. After spending millennia cataloging the many different countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull everything over that I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and squirrels, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that my haste, in my haste, I have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit. One deserving of a witness. And should the mist of time allow a, sight, a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet boom. Bloom. I can read. I, I, don't, I know how to read. Maybe. So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure. Of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder. But mostly a tale of heroism. One that I believe you will offer valuable insight to the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Now I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Interesting. Magic without using magic. The magic within. We're at the mountain trail. This is pretty much where the demo began, here at the mountain trail. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. Ha! Yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. That's the voice of my character, by the way. Woohoo! We get to do that voice a lot. Apply yourselves for the will you weave into the shall be your soul defense in time to greet me. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you. Something deep inside is compelled to learn. That does not look like his voice, does it? Ha! 
They're laughing at the same time. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to, prepare to set up the camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Why'd you say it like that? Oh my god. Time for some scouting. Oh no, immediately jump by monsters. I'm coming through. Uh, attack. He's got a bomb on his head and it says one. Yeah, get beat up, man. You're the wanderer. More like, I wonder how you even fought. Bill Graves wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. I guess so. Let's go. Woo, we're off. On our adventure. We're going the south route. We have no bridges. We have all kind of cool stuff. Do, do, do. No, you can't fight me. I'm going to fight you first. I guess I... Eh. Can I go down there? Oh, hold on. No, I can't go there. It's linear. I can go up here. And I'm going to fight you when I cross this bridge. Take attack. Six damage, man. Oh, you did 18. Ouch. Tough one, huh? Let's try this. Let's try skills. We're gonna do a croissant arc. I have a croissant. It's crescent, but you know, croissant sounds funny. Wow, 12 damage. Valerie, found anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for tomorrow's tomato. Can't wait for tomato clubs. Tomatoes are good. Press A to unrope rope ladders. Okay. Whoa. Okay, cool. Hey, I'm on my way. How do I get up there? I'm on my way. I guess I gotta go back all the way back around or something. I don't know. Let's do it. Go this way. And then this way. We're gonna go the direction he went originally. Do, 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 do. There's a cave. I'm probably doing this wrong, but that's fine. I'm gonna get over there. I don't see any other way over there, so I mean, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go this way. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, skills. I'm gonna croissant a you. Have a croissant. Yummy. Eat it. Uh oh. Oh, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I have a croissant. Just take attack. You slug. Literally, it wasn't an insult. He really was a slug, or it was a slug. I don't know your gender, sir, ma'am. Uh, let's go over here. Boop. 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 That's my jump effect. No, don't attack me. I attack you if I wanted to. But I'm going this way. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, ah, brother. Or whoever you is. Ooh, toasted marshmallows. Ha! Huh, but it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first roll of solar magic. 
To be fair, you did learn. Oh, yeah. That one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just kids, always daydreaming and getting into trouble. And making mistakes. I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know. After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's all right. And that we're still friends. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Carl. Carl, sounds like Carl. Ten years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We're in... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> We're unstoppable. He's gotta be like Geeky One. I can need a Geeky One. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I went to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Story says a giant serpent and it's Sleeping curled up in the mountain since even before we're traveling historians to record it. No way. Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, I can't wake it up. I can't wake up. I can wake it up probably, but I can't. Why not? Apparently, it's holes in the eye of the mountain, and wind blows through them, and plays a melody that keeps it easy. Whoa. I want to see it too. It's the bell. El Erlina and Barrow Graves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they get to the academy. Okay. Let's go, families of yous. What's this? Oh, save game. Good save. Thank you. We had a little campfire here and a floating book. Nice place. Let's go. We are supposed to hurry. I guess we live in the rocks, by the way. Or maybe that's just our camping grounds. Maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, let's go here. What's up, man? Hey there, youngings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? I guess that answers that. No, it was somebody else. Not us. We're innocent. <laughs> innocent this. Excuse you. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I'm reminded every day. When we all eat together, the effort's worth it. Whatever, man. Nobody does work around here. You're just pretending. I'm gonna get so grounded for that one. I better run. Ah. What's over here? What's this? Who are you? It's got eyeballs. What's up? I hope you're not getting into trouble again. Don't tell me what I'm doing. You're a jerk. And I'm leaving. I'm a kid, right? I can't act like a kid because I'm a kid. Uh-oh. Hey, wait! Whoa. Dad. 
There you are. I don't have a voice. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can hear <laughs> the kid's voice is deeper than the grown man's. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Wow! Come closer, Zell. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? Every day, I bet I'm as strong as you! I'm stronger than you! You're too! Ha <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. Okay, but she's the blue and he's the sun, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! Punch! Whoa, easy now. I can't report. I can't even report you to Headmaster if you knock me out. Whoa! Zell, you almost died. That was awesome, Zell! You did it. I'm sorry. You did it. Solstice Warriors! I don't really have a voice for him yet. He's a headmaster. He's gotta be royalty. If you're done with your babysitting duties, I would like to hear your report. <laughs> That's royalty? <laughs> That's a royalty voice. It's good. It's a good voice. We're going with it. Right away, headmaster. Can we go too? Believe me. Once you enter Zenith Academy, you wish you hadn't. Mm. Let's go, Brograves. That's not how you say your name, but I'm saying it. It's Brograves, because it's cool. Bro. Hey, the full moon is out. <laughs> I don't know my voice, it's still, I'm still learning at puberty. He's right. What a good idea for being cavern again. We tried it already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. Ask Marine, don't be so proud. He'll take you to the training right away and then you'll be allowed to leave Simon. What if he gets mad and delays our training again? No way! Well, we can worry about it after we pick it up. We only we have to open it! I mean, if I open it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> His voice changes every time I talk. All right, let's get going. Carl, 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 your voice is crazy. Where are we going? What? We're going this way? Okay, we're going this way. What's this building? Hello. I know you went to catch an Erlina and bro graves. Bro, bro graves. But it started too late. Bedtime sometime. What? You say things funny. I'm going to look for treasure in your house. Do you have treasure in your house? What happens if I click this? Treasure? One, two, three, four beds. Five. What? How many beds does one person need? Wait, there's a guy sleeping there. Hold on, hold on. You. Hey, you. Wake up. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Uh, wait, what? That's not how snort sounds. Bzz, bzz. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Bye, sir. You snore funny. <laughs> and you suck too. You, you suck. Just so we're clear. You snore funny and you suck. What? Jump down! Let's go up here. This looks like a problem area. And we're kids. We're gonna go and do what we want. There's a bird. 
Forbidden Cavern. Ooh, save point. Eh. I like how the save points are just floating tomes. Just nobody questions it. It's just floating tomes. We made it. <laughs> Time to stop this. Yeah. Carl, you gotta get your voice and, and do raps. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat the snack on your road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yum, 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 peanut butter. Mmm, peanut butter jelly. That oh, what? Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam I used. It's a bit of sap from the chest, less the old willow. Was I right? Was it peanut butter and jelly? Or peanut butter and jam? You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. Do this. I just sneeze. I push it through a couple buttons and sneeze on it. Maybe like Arlena showed me. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. What? I did it! I finally did it! So, what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter it. It could be our first adventure. Yeah, and since our headmaster would know it, we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. I'm glad I didn't choose him as my character, because if I had to read as him all the time, I will lose my voice. <laughs> as Zell. Okay, I'm the leader. We. Into the mysterious mushroom cave? Glowy mushroom cave, yes. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. There's monsters over there! Let's hide! They're scary! I thought Evermist was safe! I guess that's only for the moon cradle. We should go back, they look really dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh no! We got trip. Watch out! There's another one! This is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try and use your powers. We're not ready for this. I I don't know. Just try. Okay, let me focus. Affidy, get different. Watch out, it's preparing something. <laughs> come on, come on. It's not luminous, though. It's not for hot, though. Valerie, watch out. I'm trying to save my spell. Don't bother me. You're gonna need an eye patch. You're gonna be a pirate. I I can't see. 
There's no escape. It's about to attack again. Wow, Zeus. So it was you. Uh-oh. The headmaster. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster, Carl needs help! What did he just do? He just hit him with a staff a bunch of times. It, it feels better. <laughs> okay. Like anyone born in Mankato, a regular kid, what Garl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of Southwest Warriors. I'm, I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you're so eager to receive training, I saw a blush. Follow me. That's his voice now, by the way. It's just how it is. Alright, well, someone lost their eye. He's crying. Oh, no. Make sure that they treat the ruined and shoot the poor kid. He's not complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, please pick them now. Dude, that was so cool when you got your eye done. I <laughs> Get it? Get it? He said, I. <laughs> and the kid lost. <laughs> Never mind. Can't he come with us and stay with us? How long is very long? Like a week? Ah, uh, the eagerness of youth. <laughs> His voice changed all too. It takes years to properly train self-test warriors. Years! No way! But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect on what happened today and fix your eye problem. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with that burden that's not yours to bear. Don't forget about me! Never! We'll keep an eye on you. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Going to a secret chamber underground, above ground, not under. Whoa. Way up here in the heavens. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know. In order to become two solid warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow. Though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Proper introduction to who? Who we meeting?
so floaty. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. It's nothing. There's nothing near me. Wow. Oh, sorry. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Wrong voice. <laughs> I'm feeling a weird resonance like when I opened a forbidden cave. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with your initiate magic. It shows great promise uh, that you were able to feel before. And Zell too, from what Elena told me. Oh, it's just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It's probably for the best. Now, in the many years that you'll spend in Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties of incumbent. Incub incumbent, incumbent upon Solstice Warriors. I speak big birds because I'm headmaster. Of the magic you are destined to wield and the evil attachment to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but what's most important is sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring! Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All who would join the order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the solstice warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the minions at the flesh meter. But first you will learn your duties. Train until you cannot fill your limbs in the train. <laughs> Once both your body and mind are ripe with the potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent beyond the forbidden cavern to meet the Elder Mist. For it alone may officially grant you the title as Solstice Warrior. Sorry. Sewing. 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 Yeah, yeah. I'm deep voice. Deep voice. Me. 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 Big voice. I understand that it is not what you're hoping for, but it is what is required for you to for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the trading room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are your dormitories. Just make sure you pick your bed aligned with your initiate magic. Feel free to look around and go to sleep when you're ready. Good night. Oh, wait, you look around. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. We have a couch. This is our new couch. We're going to be watching so much TV on this couch. Look at this pot. This pot looks so amazing. We're going to watch it. Is it hey, is that Daryl? I remember when the Daryl,ina and Bro Gabe were your age. They wouldn't stop running around. Look, I feel so old now. I bet you do. I bet you. You know what? Cool. I'm gonna go over here. What's this? Training? Training? That's pretty cool. I wanna train something. Hey, you're washing those floors. That's very shiny. Oh, there you are. Maureen finally decided what you're ready. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. You tell me. You seem to know more of the gossip than I do. I'm just here for the fuck. I can climb up here. It doesn't do anything. Woo! Climb up here for no reason. We'll be back. We're going to spar there tomorrow. But for now, let's go to our rooms. We should go bug that. Hey, hey, Zell, 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 Zell. Should we go bug the headmaster? <laughs> he said he was off limits.
Let's go. Ooh, he's gonna be so happy. Boom! Is it giant keyhole? Who carries a key that big? Headmaster, you're crazy. Boop, 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 boop. We're gonna go to our dormitory. Uh, this is very confusing. There's so many things to do. I don't know if it's up and down. And then there's left and right. We just save our game here. Boop, boop. And then we're gonna go down, I guess. There are so many beds. How many kids are around here? Not yet. I don't know if this is my room. You said it's got to be the appropriate room. Uh, this one, and then over here is like red. Okay, okay. I think it's color coordinated. So, Zell, you would sleep on this side. But first, I want to check what's up here. Sewing basics. I'm going to be reading a lot of those books, I think. I think I'm going to read all of those books. All right, let's go check out. I'm going to go to bed. This is my bed now, Zell. You go to the other side. Girls only. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Broker, 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 broker. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster is kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for this training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should do well for the two of you. Training sword for Zill. What do I get? What do I get? Training staff for Valerie. Heck yeah. Alright, let's get to work. I am a mage. I chose the mage character. Good, good, good. You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never! Oh, she's so fast. Wow, she's running way faster than Zell. Zell, you need to keep up, man. Come on, Zell. Keep up. I... I can do this. I'm Zell. And I can do anything. Papa John's. 99, 100. That's it for today. You did great. Phew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Erlina will see you guys at the terrace whenever you're ready. Terrace, huh? Alright, man. Thanks for your help. Bye. Have a good trip or whatever you're doing. Terrace. When we're ready. We're not taking no breaks. We're going straight to the terrace. Where is she? Terrace. Where's the terrace? Over here? I don't think I've been down this way. Oh, hey. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? Oh, yeah. It should feel as if something was scratching and it's far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working! Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay. Just breathe slowly. Try to release it only when you feel it's current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, three! 
I think I felt it. It tickled! Right there, you just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life. And... Arena! Where's Arena? Since you're done onboarding our new recruits in the Weight of Magic, I would provide the debrief briefing for your next assignment. He's upset. As for the two of you, it is about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. Oh yeah, we get to sew. Woohoo! We're on it. And making a and making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the stars. Sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. We're making a... Oh, wow. Well, I'm bored. I'm gonna go do other stuff rather than my assignment. And I'm bored. What are you doing? I'll just walk around a bit. I'm bored. I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. Headmaster, it's a piece of socks! I'm bored! What's this? Just a bunch of old books. Just a bunch of old books. Headmaster! I'm gonna save in a new slot, cause you know, you never know what happens when you're bored. Um, how about read about sewing? That should help. It's like a, a quick shot. Oh, she doesn't want to. It's fine. I'm gonna go run around the campus and get into some trouble. Do, 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 do. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wrath Island we don't need them. Prudence, Arena. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. And Valerie and Zell were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not a place for the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about more Yara? What about the twins? Brograves! Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over! They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse, after their training is complete, they will join us for the classes. Learn as much as you can, children. But... Let's just... Yo, sorry, wrong voice. Whoa, 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 wrong voice. Let's just go, Pro Graves. Let's just go. This guy's really mad. He's so mad right now. And so they trained and sewed for days, and then for months. Faster now. Pokey and in release. And the longer a dweller is left to his devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let's let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. 
Since delaying only increases the chance of a world eater, cleansing always targets the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if the dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, uh, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as Dweller of Woe. But we could not be sure. We can't know for sure. We can't. The Fleshmancer may just have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Feathery? What happened with a Dweller of Strife? And who's Molara? That will be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Valerie, wake up! Zell, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. All right. The entrance, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Let's save. I always save because you know you never can uh, not save. What? <laughs> Those are thoughts. You know, we're going to the entrance. Boop 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 boop. Da, 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 da. We're going, headmaster. We're gonna go investigate this problem for you. Entrance this way. We're big, strong, mighty warriors. And this is our fix. Hey, look! Oh, it smells good. There's a note. Dear Valerie and Zell, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a felt safe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with Celestial Willow Jam. You liked. Oh! Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see more rain. It's waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to leave the chair without him notice. I guess that means I won't be able to try to visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Garl. Garl's the best. Let's go up on the desk to eat the cookies. You got the cookie jar. Yeah, yeah cookies. We're gonna go up on the disc. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just here. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least. After what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Ha <laughs> ha, they're probably right. We can't let something like this ever happen again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to train, keep on training hard. Boom, boom, boom. We're training so good. And so they trained, and they sewed for years. And then they trained, and they sewed some more. Until one day. Zill! 
<laughs> she's got the same voices. She's like way older. Zell, that's the one. Got a cape now. I can fill it too. Hold on. All right. I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. Yeah, we got capes and stuff. Little sash or whatever. All right, let's go see the headmaster. He's gonna be so proud. He's gonna be like, oh my God, you guys look so good. You look so good. You did so much sewing. Headmaster, headmaster, headmaster. We're all old now. Oh my God. You're gonna be so impressed. My cape is blue. That means I'm magic. What's up, man? Headmaster, with Dango already. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that! It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey on your elder man. But before we do that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitor just arrived. Perfect timing. No, it's him. My, you both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you too. Alina and Bro Graves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, and it will be time for your final test. Okay. What's up? Ready to go through the basics of magic? Sure. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. That's not her voice. <laughs> if you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break the concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie, can you do blunt damage and gel has slicing? Let's see if you can break this one. Okay, we're gonna fight you. You two are bat, bot, bat. <laughs> you two are bosses? Okay. I got it, I understand. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zell for sun and Valerie for moon. Makes sense. Moon ring. Oh, I only got one. That's fine. It works. It's good enough. Uh, sunball. Whoa. Kamehameha. Well done. Now you can sense your MP has grown a bit low, huh? right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Attack me with a normal attack. Okay. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds. For a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment and keep finding bearing your actions. And find a rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build up your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP. And are lost after the battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. 
Moraine told me that you guys came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. All right, we'll do it. I guess we came up with something. Hell yeah, let's do this. Oh yeah, that we, I just bashed you in the face while he cut you in the face. Yeah. Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out for your, in your adventures. You're bound to come across some scrolls that will teach you some more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go talk to him. Wanna review combat basics? Yeah. Get this out of the way. Let's get started. Just attack me in any order. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. Okay. When all of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they are all become available again. All right, so I can choose him and attack like that. Got it. So I just get both party members, I guess, even though it chose Valerie. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase damage than you, that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press A as the hit connects to increase damage. Oh, okay, okay, I can do that. Boom, boom, and boom. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> that was too soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. Okay. Like that? That was too late. Oh, boy. Okay, let's do it again. Got it. Okay, cool, cool. Good. Let's do that one more time. Okay. I wonder how far I can chain that. Oh, there's two. Ouch. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells are made potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. Well, I mean, you could get good enough to do it perfectly all the time, possibly. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying and sense for it. your sense for it will develop over time. That makes sense. Okay, now for you timing your blocks. Let's get to the little guy in here. Whoa. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to everything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of incoming attacks or a spell by blocking. Get ready. Press A as soon as it connects to reduce damage. Okay. Uh, that was too soon. Stay focused. I was just spamming it. I guess spamming it doesn't work. That was too late. Okay. Got it, got it. So one, as soon as he launches up into air. Good, let's try that one more time. Got it. Perfect. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a timed block as a welcome bonus. So same thing, basically. And the key is remembering to read your enemies. Yep. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, you, you killed me. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch into a more defensive mode. KO'd, ally, ally, <laughs> KO'd allies will get back up on their own at 50% HP once the KO's, KO stars are gone. One KO star is remo removed at the end of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. That's cool, so I don't have to revive anyone, I just have to survive. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Zell returns. Okay. Um, boom. 
I missed it. Cool, cool. Let's go again. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. Hey, what's up, Zell? Welcome back. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Okay, let's get through this exam. Let's do this. Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Let's go pass this exam. Are you ready for the final test then? Yes. Then let's begin. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? What? What? Listen, man. I hardly know this this person. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, headmaster. I, I tried to do their voices merged. <laughs> then speak them now. You go first, Sal. Hmm. Okay. Ahem. So that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valerie. I did it. Now it's your turn. Ahem. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose this death, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome aboard, battle monk. Heh. <laughs> Today, you must demonstrate a mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you, for your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep you in good, your health full. Obtained three tomato club. Woo! Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in, in your actions, take that leap and return at the new record to the order. I'm ready, Valerie. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Wee! Ooh. Oh my god. Is there a save? Alright. <gasps> There's a treasure chest up there. I went there. This is my first dungeon. Woo! Okay, cool. So, let's go up here and go flip this switch. Boop. Drink this thing. Cookie jar. Aw, uh, I don't have the item. That's cool, though. Let's go over here. Grab this treasure. Boop, boop, boop. Found an ornate stone. Thank you. And now we can put the ornate stone in this thing. Nice. And now we unlock the monsters. Let's go attack the monsters. Boop, boop, boop. We claimed it a litter. We do this the correct way. What's up, monsters? You want to go? Uh, we're going to go attack and attack this one. And boom. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. Boom! Oh, I missed. <laughs> there. Attack you. Yeah, nice, nice. Boom! Oh, I don't. I didn't do a double attack. It's okay, like he said. Don't worry. Can't do it all the time. I took that full blunt of the attack right there. Oh, nice, nice. Got 16 experience. All right, so I can go this way. What's over here? Uh, nothing. Let's just go. Boop, 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 boop. 
This is my final test, guys. Oh my god. We're gonna be so awesome in the chosen warriors of the solstice. Oh, tight rock, tight rope walk. Woo! Don't fall! Hey, don't, don't, don't fall, man. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Another ornate stone. Ah! Uh, skills. Moomerang, because he's awesome. Yeah, take that. I probably could have just kept going and, and like won with just the boomerang thing. Oh my god, he's almost dead. No, don't die. Oh, no, yeah, you're supposed to be a good fighter. Uh, can I defend myself? No. Oh, <laughs> the whole time I forgot I could block for him. That's right, he's only got one star. We're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Just needed to survive one round. Uh, welcome back, man, you sleepy head. Don't die again. Oh, we could have done a combo, but that's okay. That's okay, we can't always do a combo. It's fine. Let's just go ahead and cross the type rope the tight rope here. Orna stone! Woo! We're done! Mission accomplished! We win! Make us the champions! Watch, there's a boss up here. It probably is. Are they the boss? We haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So, you don't think we should at least try to explain? You've seen how strong they are. Word will be a walk in the park. Let's see them off then. What do you mean, word? What is this word? What? Exam mode engaged. Brace yourself. Beep boop. Uh oh. Shuffle weakness. Physical. Alright, I got you. Oh, this is some good music. Ow. Okay. Okay, so he winds up for it. Sun, huh? Okay, well, I don't have sun. I have moon. So I can do... I'm gonna go ahead and switch to you. And you're gonna go skills and sunball. You have a healing attack? That's good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo, full power. Nice. And his attack is now... I think it's still sun, actually. At least I got a double attack out of that one. I forgot the block. I got to get that timing down on the block. So now your weakness is Moon. Okay, so we're gonna go to Valerie, get skills, and Moon Ring. Let's see how many times I can hit this thing. Yep, one time, woohoo! <laughs> That's all we needed, right? One time. Did I block it? No, I doesn't think so. Physical. Alright, that's fine. We both have physical attack. You have a block on. Okay, that's cool. I got my combo. And you should have yours. And that did some damage. So, I only need one of those. You got him! Level up! Alright, so she can get mana points, hit points, defense magic, magic defense, or physical. Um, I guess for now it's gonna be mana points. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna do magic for now. GP. And then you are going to do physical attack. Wait, you can do magic attack too? Okay, physical attack. Your defense automatically went up also, that's good. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return to your headmaster. Okay, we're done, we passed the test. Headmaster. Congratulations, Zalorie and Zal. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. Ha! We did it. In record time, too. You must learn our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate our departure. Your departure. Not me. I'm, I'm the headmaster. Not my departure. What's up, villagers? Who are all named villager? It is our special days, such... It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? Where's Garl? I don't see him. Many years ago, Valerie and Zell were delivered to us by a great eagle. Deliveries on two solstice in a row to boot. Thank you, villager. A rare occurrence. Thank you, villager. Oh, I remember. Grandma was so happy to get to meet the two more before she passed. I miss Grand. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children in the solace before. Valerie Anzel, step forward so that good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of Solstice Warriors. This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out to crest a forbidden cavern to meet the Elder Mist. To the gate. <laughs> that was uh, okay. Thank you, villagers. What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can find. Come back to you after me, Elder Miss. Fingers and toes. Got my fingers and my toes. My fingers and my toes. Garl knows. Valerie, Zell, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster! Go now. Through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail to seek an audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall then enter the world of true Solstice Warriors. May Luna's might guide you! Thank you, villager. <laughs> May Solian's light guide you! Here, take this. This should keep you fed a little bit. Obtain three tomato club. Heck yeah! Tomato! And if your adventure feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. Got an amulet of storytelling. What? Got sequent flare. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu. Accessible with Y to adjust your experience. 
Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or you're looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. They're bound to be more defined. Remember to keep an eye out for the merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you fed as well as equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to the Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training for a dire cleansing awaits all. I still can't believe he wants them to fight a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but... We'll find a way. Safe journeys and may you cleanse this world! May you cleanse the world, may you cleanse the world, may you cleanse the world, may Whatever. I just want to get out of this place. It smells funny. Woo! We're here. Is there a save point anywhere? Uh... N no. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's safe! Whee! We're gonna go to this one and save there. But, I think this is pretty much past the tutorial part. Now we just need to go talk to uh, the mist. And I don't know what happens after that. But for now, I think that's it. That's all I'm going to do for the time being. Definitely been happy to play this game. I've been waiting so long for it. But yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these two different characters. Who would you pick? Would you pick uh, Valerie or would you pick Zane? If you were playing this. Because one represents Sun. is more of a warrior. And then you have Valerie who's more of a mage. But represents Zo the moon. So yeah. Let me know what you would do. If you were playing this right now. I mean some of you might have played this before. And you know. That's great too. But uh, you know. I haven't. I For the demo. I did play as Valerie. And I liked her. Her character. But I'm sure. The Sun side is cool as well. But yeah. Thank you for watching everyone. And I will be playing more of this soon because this is something I want to play. You know, it's pretty cool. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, also, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.